and we are purifying the water. These burnt wood chips could be the key to taking the forever out of forever chemicals. There's no natural way for this thing to break down. Since the 1950s, we've used PFAS for their incredible water and grease resistance in everything from paint to clothes to cookware to firefighting foams. But the bond is super strong and we cannot really break this bond easily. The carbon fluorine bond is one of the strongest in chemistry and PFAS can have dozens of them. That has let them build up in the environment for decades. They have found uh, PFAS in everything from uh, glaciers to mountain lakes to killer whales. But these researchers may have found a way to break them down. By soaking wood chips in an iron solution and then burning them, a material is created that can both trap PFAS and destroy them. And a reaction uh, um, basically degrades it into smaller and smaller innocuous co uh, compounds that won't, won't affect the human body. Many studies have shown just how toxic even tiny concentrations really are. And they cause cancer, they cause thyroid disease, they cause all kinds of problems that none of us really want to have to deal with. And they are found almost everywhere. In one study looking at tap water in Quebec, researchers found PFAS in over 99% of samples. And sky-high levels in some Canadian cities have made headlines. It's in all of us. We can detect it in all of, you know, our blood samples and breast milk and that kind of thing. Existing treatment methods trap PFAS, but don't destroy it. So inevitably, it ends up back in the environment. That's why experts are excited for this new method. I think it looks promising. The research has been peer-reviewed. The challenge now? To scale it up. It can also start degrading those PFAS molecules so that they're not just, you know, creating a new waste product. What's left are harmless byproducts like fluoride and safe, drinkable water, filling a forever need without the forever chemicals. Darius Madavi, CBC News, Vancouver.